Gorgeous and they're about to be trapped. Third of the Gary Annesbury heats. Up come the evens to complete the line. And Fawn to Run will be the last away. Green light. Stand by for a getaway. Race four, Wagga. Set. Ready, they're racing. Fawn to run away well, so too. Call Leone Kid and take the cake, but Fawn Leone's going, or Fawn to run's going to lead. Don't tell Joe up to fourth there, followed by Miss Walt. Dana was is a bit of bother, and out the back went Diddy's chance. Fawn to run turns with a nice break. Trying hard again, take the cake, but Fawn to run beat, take the cake, and Call Leone Kid. Then uh, over on the rail, we had Dana was. Next up was Don't Tell Joe, a break in the race, then to No Flies, Diddy's chance. And Miss Walt was one of the last ones home in around 1870. Fawn to run. Showed good pace from the checks and was able to hold everything at bay, including the runner-up in third. Fawn to run for Alan Clare. Has been too good for Take the Cake, who was well tried pre-race. And Corleone Kid just couldn't get across. Had the three alley uh, in its trial, or one trap, I should say, in its trial. And to me, it looked like it, it needs that. She needs that inside trap. But let's take nothing away from Fawn to Run for Alan Clare from Nangus. Raced by Ian McCaig. A red fawn bitch by Tom McBale out of Swift Caller. And that was her first official start. It was a tidy effort. Take the cake, Paul Strutt, Wagga Wagga second. A white and blue dog, Take the Cake, Sweet Cake. It's run a good race at good odds. Tens into eight, 